we can record values or answers as fractions on a graphing calculator. So for example, if I enter 0.25, right, this is 1 fourth. But usually what happens on the graphing calculator is if you press enter, it displays it as a decimal. So if I want to display a decimal result as a fraction, I hit second, answer. This, this represents the answer we just got. And then I press the math button. Here, notice it says frac. Press enter. Now it's going to convert my answer into a fraction if I press enter. And there it gives you the result, one fourth. You can do this with other decimal sums as well, 0.25 plus 0.10 press math and then frac and it gives you the fraction and you can go other ways to this I can enter 1 divided by 4 right and write this as a fraction and it'll do the same thing so uh, you can enter in different formats but in through this process you can write your results as fractions there are limits to this um, you can apply this to, to lists and matrices and real numbers and complex numbers but if your fraction can't be simplified to the point where the denominator has more than um, four digits, well, or three, depending on which calculator you have. It'll return a value as a decimal. So, in some calculators, if I enter in this, three to one divided by a thousand. Here, if I press math and then frac, I get a fraction. It shows me the fraction that represents this division statement, their equivalent. However, with this calculator, if I enter in a larger quotient, right, and press math, frac, it gives me the decimal equivalent. You might find on your calculator that smaller fractions are returned as a decimal. That's because uh, the way the calculator is set up, it will automatically give you a decimal value. You don't do anything wrong. There are just certain limits. So that's how you write numbers as fractions. Hope this helped.